continuing to dig deeper into the Franklin County Company federal agents raided this week. Several sources confirming to CBS North Carolina's Amy Cutler it's one of the largest escort advertising agencies in the country. Most of the images on Eros.com are too risque to show on TV. It markets escorts from across the state and internationally. Now court documents, industry insiders, and a former employee are telling me that business was run out of Youngsville. They tell me Eros Guide was run out of Bulma Star Services. That is my understanding that um, the new owner uh, in taking over had a new business corporation name. Maxine Dugan advocates for sex workers. She's based in San Francisco where she says Eros Guide started. I was one of the group of ladies that were the first advertisers on the Arrow's Guide back in the late 90s here in San Francisco when they first opened up. On Twitter, the hashtag Eros Raid is gaining traction. I was there as Homeland Security investigations raided Bulma Star Services. They say they were executing a search warrant, seizing servers and other evidence. They tell us it's part of an ongoing investigation, but wouldn't provide specifics. Since then, Bulma Star's website has been taken down. Greg Euling listed as the owner of the company. He asked for privacy when I stopped by his Wake Forest home Wednesday. In this email I obtained, you can see Euling is listed as the director of operations for Eroskide. A former employee telling me they make money selling advertising on its escort site and charging the escorts who post there. Now, we have also found several court cases from several different states connecting Eros to Bulma. I also stopped by the home of the former owner of Eros tonight. She declined to comment, asking for privacy. Now, the court documents associated with this latest case, that, re that raid, remain sealed. All right, Amy. Well, Tisha, federal agents were using the words illicit activity and taken after that raid. But I want to show you what's on the door here because it says Bulma Star Services, Inc. Business Solutions. But according to several industry insiders, what took place inside this building, it was one of the largest adult service websites in the world. You heard that right. According to industry sources and insiders, Bulma Star Services which officially labels itself as a call center, is actually the host of Eros.com, a worldwide advertising platform for adult entertainment services, including dancing, fetishes, and escorts. They set out to be the world's number one website. So they picked every nook and cranny, every small rural town across America and across the globe Speaking to us via Skype, Maxine Dugan tells us she was among the first advertisers when the site started in San Francisco 20 years ago. She says the company moved when many tech companies moved to the Triangle. Now she's part of a sex workers advocacy group, and she says shutting down the site threatens people's livelihoods. Any loss of income is going to affect everybody's ability to take care of themselves, be able to pay their rent, be able to, you know, help their children. The Arrow site remains active despite a federal raid on its supposed headquarters. Agents from Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, tonight still sifting through boxes of evidence including several computers. Many adult providers we spoke with afraid of what's on those hard drives. That is going to expose a whole bunch of innocent people um, and there's a big question about how the government will honor people's privacy. People have the right to their privacy and they should not be convicted or be set up for any sort of moral judgment for adult activity. The Eros website includes this disclaimer. We are not an escort agency, nor can we make referrals. Generally speaking, HSI often investigates alleged money laundering, trafficking, and cyber crimes. We must make clear that no charges have been filed. No one has been arrested. Steve Tisha, this is something we're going to have to follow up in the next few days, especially to see when the court will unseal that warrant and this case. We're live here in Youngsville. Jonah Kaplan, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, it appears that federal investigation continues tonight. Jonah, thanks.